Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I want to show you guys on the E36 platform how this little lifter in the cam assembly can cause a lot of the ticking issues in your high mileage motor. Enjoy. <laughs> As you can see here, this is my cylinder head. Uh, it's soaked with a bunch of paper towels just to absorb the excess oil that spilled in the passages along the springs. But basically, the lifter that I just showed you in the beginning rests right on top of these valve springs. Afterwards, the entire cam tray valve sits right on top and I'll actually show you right here what they look like. So these are the cam trays. They're oriented upside down just so that I could store them very easily. Um, because once you flip these the other side, the lifters just tend to fall out. As you can see here, these lifters can go in and out, up and down, and as the cam rotates, it pushes on these lifters in order to push down on these springs to open a valve. So this is what a valve lifter looks like from an E36 motor. Essentially, this lifter is a hydraulic lifter, meaning that it isn't solid, it has a little piston on the inside that is regulated by oil pressure. And I'm actually gonna show you the reason why these tick in just a second. So in order to visualize if this follower is good, essentially it should be like a mirror finish. And let me just grab a second one that has a better wear pattern on it. So this right here is the type of lifter that you do not wanna follow my procedure with because as you can see here, the cam has worn pretty thoroughly through the top face of this valve and if you feel it actually you can kind of feel that it's not exactly flat all the way it's almost like it has a slight dimple this one is kind of midway through and just started to wear down from the cam itself and then this one's actually in rather good condition you can still see that it has a fairly mirror finish on it and you can even see my camera and then this follower or this lifter right here is actually still in good condition for a rebuild and by rebuild, I mean you don't actually have to take it apart and replace the components. You literally can just clean it. And that's what I want to show you guys today. So in order for me to explain how a valve can cause ticking in your motor, uh, I have to take it apart. And in order to do that, you actually literally just have to whack it on top with a block of wood like this and then use a hammer and it will cause enough pressure that it will release the snap ring on the inside and pull out this inner piston right here. And you'll see that in just a second. Alrighty, so as you can see right there, that is the actual piston inside the lifter. And after I flip this over, now you can see the empty casing. So oil comes in through this passageway, enters out into this channel right here, and then fills this piston right here. So the reason why this piston causes a ticking noise is because if you can see in the center of this middle piston right here, there is a ball and spring check valve. If a piston can go like this freely and you can squeeze it and it bounces, um, chances are either the ball and spring area has to be cleaned out or the spring has failed and all you're feeling is the air pressure on the inside. So if I were to pull this apart, you'll clearly see that there is a spring assembly right here and a check ball valve. You can check by poking it with a paper clip. If you can feel the ball retract and then contract again, then it's, chances are it's still okay. It just needs to be cleaned. So if you want to check if the ball valve is clogged or if it needs to be cleaned, it's always best to clean it anyway. It's really easy to soak it in some detergent or something like that and then just clean it out. But in order to test whether or not this ball spring is sealing correctly, I just took the spring out and I'm placing the piston back inside the lifter right here. And then see as I press it, it springs back up. That means that this ball valve right there is creating a tight seal on it so that if oil were to go through it, it wouldn't come back out the other way and you'll have a fully, fully pressurized and functioning lifter. The issue is, is when this check valve is clogged or is held open slightly by like debris or poor maintenance because then oil can go in and out, essentially allowing this piston to collapse completely. And then that inherently causes this piston to hit the top side of that lifter making that audible ticking noise at high RPMs or even at idle. So if either the spring is broken or either the check valve is broken, you gotta replace the lifter. So essentially the next step after you clean all these out is that you actually have to assemble it, which is as easy as putting this piston back in place like this, flipping it upside down and snapping it back into the lifter. And the second step after that is to actually obtain a vacuum pump 
that you will fill with oil and submerge this entire lifter into it. And then once you crank it by hand, you'll see air bubbles start coming out of it. And those air bubbles will basically escape the entirety and essentially you'll bleed out this lifter so that you'll have a fully pumped lifter ready for action for the reinstallation process. So I hope this video is helpful. I wanted to show you guys that it is possible to rebuild lifters, but if they are worn or if the components are broken on the inside, I do recommend just replacing it, get it over with, spend the $50 or however much it is for one of these, and just bite the bullet, replace it, don't even worry about it. But it is possible to break these open and then just clean them out. If there is any confusion, I do plan on fully either converting these to solid lifters or servicing them just like I explained here in a later video once I start putting this old M50 back together. But as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.